Hello everyone. Welcome to the Engineering Training Channel. Please subscribe, like the video, and check out our other videos. In this video, I will show you the fully developed region in laminar and turbulent flow using ComSol Multiphysics. To start, click on Model Wizard and select 2D because we are working with a 2D example. In this section, we will select laminar flow and heat transfer in fluids. Later, we will change from laminar flow to turbulent flow. This example is steady state, so we select stationary. First, create the geometry. Now select air as the flow material. We can choose it from the recent materials we've used or from the liquids and gases tree. Next, go to laminar flow and define the inlet and outlet boundary conditions. The inlet velocity is 0.2 meters per second, and the outlet boundary is set to a relative atmospheric pressure of zero. Then, define the boundary conditions for heat transfer. The inlet temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. And for the outlet, we select outflow. For the top wall, we define the temperature as 40 degrees Celsius. Now, go to Fluid 1 and select the velocity of laminar flow for the convection term of heat transfer to couple it with fluid flow. Next, go to Mesh and create the mesh. Use boundary layer for the wall because we have a gradient in velocity and temperature. Now run the model. Here, we have the velocity distribution. We need to plot the profile of velocity in the middle of the domain to check the fully developed region. Create a 1D plot. For the plot, select cut line 2D that we created. Here we have velocity relative to the length of the channel. The fully developed state does not occur initially because we have a variation of velocity in the axial direction. To achieve a fully developed region, we need to increase the length of the channel until the velocity does not change in the axial direction. Increase the length and run the model again.
Now it is almost fully developed after 7 centimeters. Now let's check the temperature profile. As expected, the temperature increases with length, so we check the gradient of temperature. The temperature gradient is not fully developed, so we increase the length. After 8 centimeters, it is almost fully developed. We can check the velocity profile again to confirm that it is fully developed. Additionally, we can change the style of the plot. Now we change from laminar flow to turbulent flow to see the fully developed turbulent flow, and we change the inlet velocity to 5 meters per second. Run the model again. The velocity is not fully developed. So we increase the length to achieve a fully developed region. Increase the mesh resolution. Run the model again. Now we see that it is fully developed after almost 18 centimeters. Thank you for watching the video.